Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna style this beautiful pine from Slovenia. For this episode, I'm gonna work uh, this beautiful uh, mugo pine collected uh, many years ago in the mountains uh, in uh, Slovenia. It's a beautiful tree with a lot of character, great deadwood, uh, hollow trunk, uh, and uh, some interesting character on the live line. The goal for this work is to highlight uh, the characteristic of the tree at its best, in order to put in evidence uh, the trunk line and the live line, framing uh, all the trunk uh, with the beautiful green. So, I just finished the cleaning uh, of all the dead wood, uh, and uh, this part is very, very important, even before choosing the front uh, of a tree like this, uh, where the impact of the dead wood and the movement of the live line is very very important. I had many parts with old bark but they are dead so I have to clean them and, has, and have the best vision possible of the dead wood. I really love uh, this side because uh, I have hollow dead wood, good twist. Uh, I see the start of the live line here and uh, I have a beautiful focal point in this position with the live line twisting around the branch. Differently from this uh, side uh, where the live line is more straight uh, and uh, the tree is a little bit more obvious, uh, but uh, I wanna highlight uh, as much as I can this uh, section. So I'm thinking of uh, bringing this section of green towards the front uh, to frame this section. Then I have another nice transition branch uh, here and I can use some of the top branches to recreate the top around this area and find a solution to bring down some green here so I can frame nicely and in an elegant way all the dead wood of the tree and create a nice and feminine tree. Probably I have too much green, but on Mugo Pine I like to use as much as I can the green that is available. So the strength of the tree, especially on a very old tree like this, uh, can keep uh, going on and keep helping the tree to mature and be strong uh, and nice. So the next part will be a little bit reducing the dead wood in the back, uh, finish up some dead wood detail on the jeans, uh, and then we want to start uh, on the wiring and bending part uh, of the structure.
so now that uh, we took care of the dead wood, uh, we create and clean, uh, we put a lot of sulfur and uh, everything is nice and ready, we have to start taking care of the branches. So on Yamadori most of the time we find uh, beautiful pieces uh, of natural art, uh, but obviously we don't have a proper structure. So one of the secrets to create uh, a tree from a Yamadori looking nice uh, is uh, bringing the problem in the back, uh, in this case uh, some of the longer branches, and then coming forward, framing the trunk in the different part, uh, using the length uh, of those branches. What we want to do on this uh, tree now that we more or less set the front uh, to highlight uh, all the nice curvy and uh, beautiful features of the uh, dead wood. Uh, we see the line right here, we see this beautiful uh, focus point uh, in this position. So what I want to do, start uh, moving by guy wiring and bending the branches from the back part of the tree forward and framing this trunk in the different part. Now obviously it's just a line with negative space, negative space and everything is here. So what we want to do is start moving down the branches and forward to create the illusion of the structure around the beautiful trunk. So let's start from the first left branch and uh, we keep building the tree up uh, to the top. For this work I'm gonna use uh, Yuta. It's a nice fiber that I can uh, bend uh, around the branches. Always remember in the direction I want to bend them. So these branches coming down and uh, forward, so left. So I will bend uh, the uh, Utah clockwise uh, in order to have uh, this uh, material uh, tightening uh, in the moment I want to start bending the branch. Uh, so I create uh, a layer of this material. This material is a little bit better than uh, the normal raffia because uh, it's able to hold uh, a little bit more moisture and this obviously in the aftercare, after the bending, uh, is uh, a plus uh, that we can uh, give to the branch to recover because we have uh, a bigger amount uh, of moisture in contact with the fiber that obviously is uh, stressed after the uh, bending. So I put uh, the Utah around uh, and then uh, I will cover this uh, section with uh, the um, what's the name the plastic tape so I do the same uh, with this other branch all the fibers uh, that uh, are hanging down now I will remove before applying uh, the plastic tape and then uh, I can put the structural wire again uh, in the direction I want to bend the branch uh, and uh, I will already start bending these branches in the position I want uh, and after that uh, that I can see how much I can force uh, the movement of them, I will start wiring uh, the finer branches uh, to start uh, setting uh, the uh, structure of uh, my future paths. In this type of work, that is a primary work uh, on this Vugo, I'm not really looking forward uh, to the very big definition of the pad, but most of all I want to put in position the structure and then let the tree recover and in one of two season, seasons go back and refine the pads a little bit more.
So we just uh, compact uh, the first branch of the tree, bending uh, the back branch in three position, and uh, as we want, uh, we have now the green uh, in the position to create the first pad. The next operation will be basically uh, wiring on all uh, the tertiary branches in order to create a little bit of lines uh, and then uh, we can work on the other two branches uh, for the depth uh, of the tree. part of the tree is positioned. I start uh, setting uh, the lower left branch, creating a couple of levels, uh, cleaning a little bit the underneath but without doing any more cleaning on the needle. I want to keep all the energy. It's a move pine, it's not a scotch pine, so it's very sensible to manipulation. We use a three guy wire to put uh, the structure in position. First, uh, bending this section down inside and uh, the last section to create the pad. I use the other branches to create that uh, and this side one I protect uh, originally with a counterclockwise wire to come over and frame the jean from the front. I'm pretty happy for now with the evolution of the lower part. Uh, I have a good first branch uh, framing this first section of the tree. Nice depth, uh, some branches. Uh, also, I can see this beautiful gene going backwards. Uh, the next step will be working on the central part, uh, part uh, of the tree. I want to use this uh, inner small branch to create uh, a nice pad in this position to visually hold uh, the twist of the live line. And then uh, I will start bending down some uh, of these uh, two lower branches uh, here to create uh, green in this position. So let's keep up uh, with uh, the work. step will be bending this branch from the back side forward to create a part of the back higher back of the tree and using the longer line to create something in the left part so bending from back forward The next uh, step is done. You can see how we bent down uh, this section using three anchor points so we can obligate the branch uh, to twist uh, in the direction we want. Uh, and now we have uh, all this green in a perfect position to create uh, the part uh, of the green uh, connecting to the apex. So next step, uh, I will set a little bit the pad uh, and keep going uh, up to the top.
the building process uh, is going on now we have uh, the three top branches left this one was pretty good I had uh, this one as a back plan in case something went wrong with this one now my idea is to use uh, these two and eventually remove and gin uh, this last one I have a nice and very flexible branch here I would like to use uh, to bring uh, green in this position putting this uh, section of the branch inside this gap and I can create a nice uh, back uh, in this position and I still have another one that I can use uh, over here plus uh, the natural prosecution of the line uh, to the apex is this one I just have to bring uh, this section backwards a little bit more align with this one and then uh, push down the branches to create uh, the top more or less here. When I work uh, and I build the trees uh, starting in this case left and right, uh, now I have this line going up, uh, this uh, point going up uh, so I can imagine more or less where will be the apex of the tree. These are my reference uh, points uh, when I work uh, and I style a material like this. We just uh, bent down uh, this black branch. Uh, we was able to achieve a good uh, part of green here to frame this section under the other band uh, of the previous branch. We still have a nice branch here, transition. And then uh, I will uh, bend back uh, this section to recreate the apex. I kept this branch uh, as a safety but uh, at the end of the work, uh, if everything goes well, I will cut this branch and uh, made uh, as uh, a gen. It's too much uh, and it's too much connected with this other one, so it's not necessary. Now I refine a little bit these lines, uh, fill the space uh, and then work on the top. Now that I was able uh, to set uh, the structure of the apex uh, in safety and finish up the last uh, band, uh, I remove uh, the safety branch I kept uh, just in case uh, during the work something went wrong. I will uh, definitely make a gin with that uh, and then uh, just finish uh, a little bit uh, resetting uh, of uh, these lines. Because this is a Mugo pine. I'm not looking to wire every single branch at the first style, it's too much stress for the Mugo. We need to be very careful when we work Mugo Pine. It's very, very sensible to too much manipulation. So slowly and safety. The final touch uh, on the safety branch that I gin, put a guy wire and bend it uh, towards uh, the front. Uh, so when it will uh, dry out uh, you will stay 
in position where I want. Here we are. Remove this uh, and uh, here we go. The tree is finished. And here we are with the final uh, result. I'm very happy about uh, how I was able to uh, frame uh, the beautiful trunk uh, with all the branches uh, coming from the back part of the tree, creating uh, spacing and uh, putting in evidence uh, and highlighting uh, all the nice, uh, uh, beautiful focal point of the tree. This uh, dead wood, the hollow dead wood, the movement, uh, the twist of the live line, the gene on the top, and then the apex coming back in the direction of the first branch. Uh, as you can see, and as I told you already, I haven't overwired the tree because uh, it's a mugo pine. Uh, this work is already stressful, now the tree has to recover and then uh, in the next uh, restyling uh, we can uh, a little bit more refine uh, the line but I'm pretty happy about uh, all uh, the first uh, styling and the structural work uh, that uh, I was able to do on the tree. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, I will run an intensive class in my place in August 2022 from August 14 to August 24. So if you are interested, send me an email. See you at the next. Dream. Bonsai. Dream.